Hey, what's up everybody? You're watching Pixel 3D. I'm your host, Ekin, and today we're going to show you how to model, 3D model, a, an enclosure for the Flora microcontroller from Adafruit. So let me just share with you the project that we've put together. All right, so this is an electronic longboard from Evolve, and what we've done is we've, we've mounted some LED, um, some LED neo, uh, NeoPixels from Flora, and we actually have, or from Adafruit, and we have the Flora uh, on there. It kind of looks like we're writing a rainbow. Um, but, um, you know, we're using tape to literally uh, mount it on the bottom of the deck. Not a good way to do this. So what we're going to do is uh, create and 3D print a little enclosure uh, for all the components. Uh, so the components that we'll be using is, of course, the Flora from Adafruit. And we have this cool little battery. And it's a lithium battery. It's really small and compact. Uh, we're also using uh, this, tax, this uh, on and off switch. Um, very tactical, tac tactile, very tactile button. Um, so let me just share with you uh, the model that we put together. Okay, one second. Hello again. Okay, here's 123D. We will be using 123 Design. Uh, it's a free desktop app for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, this is a two-piece design. Uh, the bottom here is 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 um, big enough to hold the flora, the battery. And the uh, cover here is pretty cool because it will uh, hold the the button in a way where when it's pressed, it won't uh, it won't uh, mess with the other components uh, in the in the enclosure here. So it has a little opening for the button, and let me just show you the inside again. Uh, these little plugs will actually snap right into these pillars here. Um, they have little holes. Hey, come on, my dog. And the uh, the cavity here, the opening here, is uh, for uh, you know wires and stuff to come out so that they connect to the LED um, strips. Uh, so I put this together in probably like an hour or so. So hopefully I can make it again in less time. Um, so let me just go ahead and start uh, modeling. So again, this is one two three D design. Um, it's a free web uh, desktop app. It's also a web app, but I'm using the desktop app uh, for this for this case. So I'm going to start with a little cylinder. And I've already measured it out to be um, the the floor is like 44.5 millimeters, so we need a little bit of leeway. Uh, so I'm gonna make it um, I'm gonna make it 50 uh, or 52. So I just divide that. And I'll make it 38. So that's big enough. Uh, I'm gonna make the the height of it about 18, so that we can make it um, so they can hold all the components. Uh, so here's our cylinder. Yay! So what we're going to do is we're going to select the top face here. Just click on it, and then when you hover over it selected, you can click on any of these faces. So I'm going to click on the top face, and then you have this little gear icon to do some functions. I'm going to do a self shell function, and I have now made it a shell. I'm going to make it about one millimeter thick inside. Okay. So there's our little cup-like thing. Okay. Next, I'm going to make uh, the pillars uh, that will allow the cover to snap right into them. So I'm going to use another cylinder, and if you roll over to the top, it'll snap it right in the top there. So um, they, I'm going to make them about 6 millimeters uh, wide, and we'll make it 18 again. Okay, so there's our little pillar right in the middle. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to it, and what I'm going to do is create a cavity for, uh, for, the, for the plugs to snap into. So I'm going to make it 1.1 uh, uh, millimeters. Um, and I'll make it about five millimeters in height. So what I'm going to do now is uh, select it and move it uh, downwards because I'm going to use the shape to actually cut out of this 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 big cylinder plug. So I'm going to use the combine and click that. That's our target, and then click the um, the solid that's inside of it like that. Ah, it's hard to do it. Okay, let's do that again. It's always a little bit hard to do it when you have uh, things touching. Okay, click on that. Okay, and then we're going to change the um, the source to uh, subtract. Okay, so now it's subtracted. So when I click away, it uh, performs the function for me. So there it is, all nice and cool. And next, what we're going to do is create um, the plug for it. So again, we're going to go in the middle of it if we can get to it. Uh, making it smaller kind of helps. So let's go ahead and click on top here. All right. Okay, so there it is in the middle. Um, we're going to put 
2 in the radius. Oh, geez, the radius is gone. 2. Okay. And the height will be uh, 3 because we don't need it to be um, so big. Okay. Let's grab it and move it a little bit to the top. Like that. Okay. Okay, so there's our little uh, pillars ready for uh, moving in the right place. Okay, so we're going to move it in the, in the right place that we want. I want it in the sides of here. So we'll get it pretty close. Ah, it's a little bit bigger than I want it to be. So I'm just going to move it flush. Like that. Ah, it should just be one. Okay. So like that. And they need to be touching. The um, the pillar needs to touch the uh, the edge. Like that. That looks good. Use this fit to, to see the whole thing. Okay. So now I'm just going to select the two components, copy, paste, command, you know, CV, same stuff. Okay, now it's on the side. Now I can select all four of them, copy, paste it, and now I can rotate it using these handles here. Yay, so make it 90 degrees. Okay, so there's um, there's almost the bottom piece. So now we need to make the, um, the cover. So I will make another cylinder. In the middle here, and I'm going to make it the same radius. Was it 38? Yeah, 38. And then one. Uh, I don't need to be that big, so one fits me just fine. One millimeter. Okay. Select the shape and let's move it up like that. And what we want to do is combine these little pegs um, on the cover. So I just selected them, and I'm going to move it up like that. Okay. Now what we can do is uh, combine the uh, the cover with the plugs like that. So it's one solid. And we'll do the same uh, to the, the base here. So just select them all like that. Okay. Now it's combined. You can see that it's uh, combined it there on the edges. See edges combined. Very cool. Okay. So. It's almost looking like it's done, but the, I guess the, mo the the hard part is doing the um, the components for the switch. Okay, so I just flipped it on 80 degrees there, so I can work with it better. Um, so not too prepared for this one, but here here's a cool thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert. Uh, the widget that we made for it. So what we've actually done is created a small widget that we can reuse. So there it is. Um, I will share this with you guys. And basically it is all the stuff that we need to get it to work. Minus a couple things like the bottom I don't need. And this uh, is going to be used to cut that, uh, the cover. So let me just go ahead and merge uh, this and these two guys together. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to select both pieces. Um, you know, we, this is all composed with simple ass shapes. Like all the things I did, like uh, creating the boxes and manipulating it, and creating shells. That's pretty much how I created all this stuff here. So pretty easy. Um, cat's crying. Okay, so with those two pieces selected, let's get it in the right spot. So we'll move it to 90. Flip it over to 90, and then we'll move it in the right spot that we want. Like that. Okay, what we want to do is try to get in the middle, best as we can. We can use a little cube at the top to uh, to get our orientation right. Okay, so I'm just moving it, guesstimating where I want it in the middle. Next thing is we need to make sure that uh, we have enough. Uh, room here uh, for for the little holder cavity here. Okay, so now it looks like it's in a good spot. Now I'm going to combine this cover with the uh, little widget thing. It's already on join, so now it's joined. Okay, now I'm going to subtract uh, the cylinder piece to cut the hole out. So select that, let's change the subtract, click on that, 
Take it away. Boom. There it is. Holy shit. We're almost done. Okay. Uh, oh, we need a cavity uh, for all the wires and stuff. So the way I made that cavity is I just used the box. Just a regular box. Something like that. And what I did is I grabbed the edges here. Like that. And I created a bevel fillet. Something like five. Four. Four is good. Okay, so that when I cut it, it has like a little bevel groove to it, which is, which is what I want. Okay, so again, we're just going to move it. Um, 45. Move it in place here. It's going to cut out right here. I measured it um, uh, bigger than it ought to be so that, uh, you know, I have some leeway. Um, for all the all the different wires and stuff, so it doesn't have to be this so exact here. Okay, so, <coughs> damn, that dog's crazy. So, <coughs> Matilda, come down. I'm doing a tutorial. <coughs> There's nobody there. Okay, right on. So, uh, th there it is. There's my little cavity. I want some. You know, I don't want it to be right on the edge there at the bottom, so that's fine. Again, we're just going to use combine, select, select, subtract, bam, all right, bammy wham, there we go. Uh, you know, I did it pretty quick. The, 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 the bulk of this stuff was testing out these widgets. Like, I printed this maybe 10 different times to get all the tolerances right. Uh, this, you know, we printed this out on a replicator one using ABS, um, and it, it works really great. Um, I'm actually away from my 3D printer and the actual printed project, so I just wanted to share with you guys um, how, how we put it together really quick. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you uh, how it works out, how, how we mounted it to the board and everything. Um, so I think that's it, guys. All right. Um, keep following us on uh, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Um, links in the description. And, uh, yeah, we'll share all this stuff on Thingiverse once it's all done and finalized. So, okay, thanks for watching, guys.